The Knicks are 10-4 and four at home against the West this season. The Grizzlies 10-4 and four on the road against the East. Marc Gasol back after missing two games with an abdominal injury. Tyson Chandler sitting out his seventh straight with a bulging disc. Iman Shumpert, though, came out like gangbusters in the first quarter, scoring 13 of the first 15 Knicks points. Mike Conley finding Tony Allen for the alley-oop. Allen had a double-double with 18 points and 10 rebounds. The Knicks led 37-25 after the first, and they kept shooting in the second. Steve Novak doing what he does best with the triple. A 19-point lead. The Knicks were shooting over 70% at one point in the second quarter. They end up shooting 61% for the half. Jason Kidd the alley-oop to J.R. Smith, who had 23 first-half points. And the Knicks had 11 three-pointers in the first half, leading to a 28-point halftime lead. That makes Chris Rock and Howard Stern very happy on lookers. But Marcus Gasol and the Grizzlies gutting it out in the third. There, a foul called on Marcus Camby as Gasol poked it away. Camby nonplussed about the officiating. A technical and another one, and he would get the gate at Madison Square Garden on Wednesday night. Back to the action, Grizzlies on a run, Mike Conley getting in the paint. 17-5 run for Memphis. Conley finished with 26. The Knicks, though, just too many weapons. Mello had 22 points. Carmelo Anthony going for 11 of them in the first quarter. And the Knicks by 19 as we head to the fourth. Jared Bayless doing his best to keep the Grizzlies in it. A 10-point game with the hoop and the harm. He had 24 off the Memphis bench. Mark Gasol in his return, 13 points and five rebounds. The foul line jumper is good. It's once again back to a 10 point game at 94-84. And then here's Bayless. He'll miss the three. Quincy Pondexter gonna get the rebound and the put back. It's 100 to 95. But Jason Kidd, the wily veteran, had just one bucket in this game, but he made it count. The three ball is good. 108 to 101, the Knicks win it. J.R. Smith finished with 35 points, becoming the first NBA player with consecutive 30-point games off the bench since February of 2010 when Al Harrington did it. His four 30-point games off the bench this year, most in the NBA as the Knicks win their sixth straight.